worst disasters Anderson County's ever seen. Tell me why y'all decided to do this today and what it's about. Yeah, well, uh, first of all, let me say this. We are all blessed uh, to be able to make it through such a disaster uh, in this day and time. It definitely could have been worse. Uh, but the reason why we're doing this today uh, is because I am of the firm belief uh, that anytime there is a crisis, that a crisis demands a response. Uh, as a matter of fact, yesterday I was thinking, uh, and I had not sent out any notification, hadn't spoken with my officers or leadership or anything uh, about not having worship service today. Uh, I was a little slow about it because I just knew there was something that we could do, uh, something that we needed to do. As a matter of fact, uh, I called them at the last minute yesterday, uh, around noon yesterday, and we pulled this off and the church came together, uh, pulled together as many resources as we could, uh, called around the community. Uh, we don't have much, uh, uh, two fish, five loaves of bread. Uh, and essentially what we're asking for today is that the Lord would bless uh, what we're doing today and multiply it uh, so that needs are met, uh, that, that stomachs are filled, uh, that people uh, would leave here with some form of satisfaction. Uh, and not only that, uh, we, we as a church, we believe in serving Christ by serving community. Uh, and uh, we want to live up to the name of our church. Uh, our church uh, is called Welfare Baptist Church. Uh, and the reason our church has been named that for nearly 160 years uh, is because welfare has stood the ground of providing welfare to the community. Uh, and that's what we want to do. And so uh, I want all of you to know that we are praying for you during this time uh, and uh, things are going to get better. Uh, we can just hold out, uh, stay strong, and we're going to stand together. Uh, and I just believe that, that God is going to bring us to this trying time. So you are serving a meal here for people who either want to eat here or they can take it home, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, if you like to sit down, our pav pavilion is available for you to sit down and uh, to dine together, fellowship together. Uh, and if you just like to come by and pick up a plate, uh, those are available uh, as well for you to do that. But, but at any rate, we want you uh, to be able to get something. Um, not saying that you're going to leave here stuffed uh, to the brim. Uh, not saying that we have the whole loaf of bread. Uh, but we can give you a slice of bread today. So uh, it's, our, it's our prayer that uh, that that slice of bread uh, and what we have here today uh, will be a blessing to you and your family. And storms like this remind us that we're not really in control very much, don't they? Uh, yeah, it, it definitely reminds us that we're not in control, uh, that, uh, of course, God has absolute control. Uh, but it also reminds us of the fact that whenever crisis comes, uh, that, uh, that although there are many things that divide us, education, economics that divide us, uh, that all of us are equally susceptible uh, to uh, the impact of whatever crisis uh, is happening at the time. And so uh, it's important for all of us, black, white, yellow, blue, green, uh, Democrat, Republican, poor, rich, uh, whatever the case may be, whatever divides us, that uh, it's important that we unify uh, because uh, unify under the banner of Christ, but not only that, unify under the banner of just being humans because we're humanity. Uh, and that's what this is.